Hi guys, welcome back. This is another WhatsApp uh, tips and tricks video. And yesterday I have shown you one video in which I have covered all of the new features for the new WhatsApp messenger, which brings a status feature, which is similar for the Snapchat and the Instagram stories. So no matter whatever is reason, if you're not going to like this new feature, so all you need to do, just follow the steps here. So I'm just going to show you a couple of ways here in which you can still get the old WhatsApp working on your phone. So there will be two tips here. The one tip is going to work on the rooted Android devices and the other tip is going to work on the non-rooted devices. So based on whatever conditions you have, you can follow that method. So let's get started. So guys, as you can see, this is my OnePlus 3. This is non-rooted device and I can I used my old WhatsApp here. So this method is going to work on both the devices, whether you are rooted or non-rooted. So depends on you, whatever is your preference there. So I'm just going to tell you straight. So as you can see, this is my old WhatsApp. I have the all chats, contacts and everything I can set here. So I will put an APK link here that you can download. So WhatsApp has so many versions here. So I've tried a couple of versions, at least eight to nine I did have tried. But the one that is worked for me is 2.17.60. It's an APK mirror link and it's an old actually updated for the 12th February and it's I guess two weeks back. So you just need to go to the APK mirror and don't worry, I will put uh, the exact download link on my video description. Just open that link, you will get everything and all the clear steps written there. So just to summarize here again, in case you want to install an APK, you just have to go to the settings here under the security section. You have to just enable the allow installation from unknown sources and first you have to uninstall your existing whatsapp version which is updated from the play store you have to uninstall it as you can see since i have installed this uh, old version it will give you an update message so do not update the app in case you update your app uh, it's going to waste everything because the current one that is running right now is i guess 2.17.81 as of now today so and the version we are going to use is 2.17.60 so it's quite old here so important point is here you don't have to update your whatsapp if you want to update all the apps you just need to manually go to the app section whatever's there and click one by one and update do not click on update all so that your whatsapp would not get updated otherwise you're going to get this new feature so this is very important point so check the video description there is exact download link just download the version that i have used so there may be chances some other versions may work but the one that worked for me i'm going to show you this apk is going to work on rooted and non-rooted devices you just have to install the current app version whatever you have then install this apk and enable the unknown sources so this is about the non-rooted device now let's jump to the rooted device so this is my nexus 6p this is rooted i'm going to show you here so in case you don't want to install via apk and you're not worried about those things here so just going to show you this is my rooted device Nexus 6P during the Sanjan mode. Let me first increase the screen brightness here. So in that way you can easily get to know more. So I'll show you that tip here tomorrow. All right, so uh, first off we need a browser uh, file manager that has the root uh, file browsing capability. So I'm gonna use a solid explorer. You can also use whatever favorite browser you have. Just you have to make sure it should be able to browse the root directory. All right, now you need to follow this directory structure. First you have to go inside this root directory and uh, as you go inside the root, there should be a data folder. Then there is another data folder. Once you go inside data folder, there should be a folder named as a com.whatsapp. As you can see, this is com.whatsapp. Just go inside and once you get inside, there should be a file called share prefs. All right. Then after that, there is another file at the end called com.whatsapp underscore preferences.xml. All you need to do, just enable, open that file and just go here and type here status and you will see at the color there is an entry called status mod so first time once you open that file you will see an entry status mod value equals to 1 I am repeating here if you are opening that file first time you are going to say an entry status mod value equals to 1 so you need to make sure and make this entry to 0 from 1 so I am telling you again so once you open this whatsapp uh, preference XML you will see an entry status mod value equals to 1 you need to change that value from 1 to 0 so that it will looks like that one so check the video description I'm telling you again then after that just you need to save it and click back and before you do that I just forgot to tell you one important point from the setting go inside the setting inside the app section and just search for the whatsapp and you need to make sure you should force to stop it and do not run any current instances of whatsapp so summarizing again first you need to go inside the settings app section open the whatsapp make sure it is disabled then after that you need to uh, go inside this 
directory structure which is inside the root directory then data again then data then com dot whatsapp then shared preferences folder inside that you will get a file called com dot whatsapp preferences dot xml once you open that one you have to search here add entry call status so you will get an entry call status underscore mode value equals to one then you have to make sure you will change the value from one to zero once you do that just click on save and exit normally open your whatsapp and you will see your old stuff is back right you can see this is your old stuff all the stuff that you got here calls contacts chat everything and you got the old version and even though you can check here this version is actually old and uh, about here this is actually the this is actually yeah, sorry for this is the latest version but you can use the same feature in future if you update your whatsapp and if you again got the status feature all you need to do just make sure to go again to the same directory whichever we have opened here and you just have to change the whatsapp con preferences this the preferences xml file and search here for the status mode and change the value back to zero from one so and don't worry about all the steps and just read the video description i will write exactly all the terms how you have to do that and just that's it guys pretty much for this video enjoy your new whatsapp uh, with the old status uh, text and editing all the stuff so hope you guys did enjoy this video this is startup i'll catch you next video have a great day